Yo what's up guys, so a few days ago I was casually scrolling through YouTube when a video caught my attention. It was a video I made 7 years ago, can you believe it? Back then I had no idea about CAD, 3D printing, Arduino or anything like that. Watching that video now kind of made me cringe. Instead of just feeling embarrassed, I thought why not recreate it. So I decided to take on the challenge and redo the project using 3D printer with a fresh design. Well, it's not the most practical and useful thing in the world, but it's going to be fun. So I fired up my Fusion 360 and jumped straight into 3D design. If you're wondering how I got into 3D printing and designing, well, 5 to 6 years back, I got my first 3D printer and like most beginners, I started by downloading files online to print. It was exciting, but soon, I wanted to create custom parts for my DIY projects, so I began experimenting with Tinkercad to design my own models. After a few months of tinkering, I leveled up and made a switch to Fusion 360. With that being said, the design is complete, let me know how it looks. Now let's fire up my all new Elugu Century Carbon and bring this design to life. I have been using this printer for last 3 weeks and I'm already in love. It's beginner friendly, comes pre-assembled and ready to print right out of the box. With a sleek, durable design and fully enclosed body, it sports various filament materials, prints up to 500mm per second and features automatic bed leveling with 4 pressure sensor for the perfect first layer every time. They are announcing the price of this printer today on their site so be sure to follow their social media links in the description. Now here comes the favorite part. All the parts turn out amazing, just look how many parts are there are. Putting everything together is going to be so much fun, so let's do it right away. Well, I wanted to give this thing a name, so what should I call it? Money Monster or Robot Piggy Bank? I guess Money Monster would be cool. The old robot has one limitation, it only works with coins. This is because it operates like a switch. When you place a coin, it completes the circuit by shorting the wires. Unfortunately, that mechanism doesn't work with the paper currency, but this time I want it to work with all kind of currency, so we have to integrate microcontroller. For the electronics, first we'll need a servo motor. I'm using the MG90S for this project. Next we have ESP32C3 microcontroller. You can use any microcontroller you prefer but I choose this one because it eliminates the need of separate charging module. Plus it was laying around my studio so I thought it better use it before it got lost. <laughs> and last we also need a microphone sensor. I'll include links to all the components in the description so you can check them out by yourself. Alright, let's fix the servo in its place. Moving on to the wiring connection, it's pretty straightforward. Connect the servo signal pin to any digital pin on the controller, in my case I'm using pin 20. For microphone sensor, connect its signal pin to an analog pin, I'm using pin 0. To give this robot a bit more personality, I decided to make its eyes glow when it's in operation. This will add a cool, aggressive vibe to the design. So this 5V ARGB LED strip is also needed. I'm using pin 8 for the LEDs. Next, grab a 3.7V battery to power up the circuit. Connect all the positive wires to the battery positive wire and all the ground wires to battery negative wire. Finally, solder these connections to the bat and ground pins on the microcontroller. That's it, the connections are done. Now it's time to bring this circuit to life by uploading the codes. Here are the codes for the project. Please note that if you're using a different microcontroller, you may need to make some adjustment for it to work properly. Let's go ahead and upload the codes. Now let me explain how it works. This is a knock knock circuit. After you place the money, simply tap twice on the robot head and it will start working. Pretty cool right? Before moving on to the assembly, I wanna give a shout out to LTM365 for sponsoring this video. The ultimate cloud based platform for PCB designing collaboration. With real time team collaboration, you can seamlessly share 
review and edit your PCB design from anywhere around the world. Whether you are working solo or with the team, LTM 365 ensures your design stays synced and accessible. And for the students, check out LTM Student Lab, get free access to LTM Designer and LTM 365 with your university email, collaborate with your friends, earn industry recognized certificates and boost your career. Click the link in the description to get started. Coming back to the video, let's begin with the assembly. I think I have talked a lot in this video so I am leaving, you enjoy the assembly process, we'll come back at the end. As you can see this thing turns out pretty cool. It was so much fun to build this thing. All files are available with the channel membership or you can purchase through the link in the description. Now on the task, here's how it works. First place your money in its hand, coin, notes, whatever you have, then tap twice on the hat and there we go. Pretty cool. That's it for this video, let me know if you want me to recreate more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed this project, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more exciting builds. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video, until then bye bye.